Uh, so, uh, let's see. I want to start with Felicity. Okay. Um, I was a huge fan uh, years ago, obviously. Um, friends of mine um, actually got me into the series because they were like, you remind us so much of Felicity. You've oh. got to watch this chick. And it was such a great series, which, by the way, you won an Emmy for. Congratulations. I Thank know I'm you. Late, no, And you're fine. welcome. Thank you. Um, any thoughts on a reunion for Felicity? Uh, you know, people ask all the time. We it, That was one of those jobs. Every once in a while you do a job that everyone you know, really gets along, and that was definitely one, between J.J. and Matt and Speedman and my friend Mandy. Like, we all still absolutely hang out. In fact, I just flew into L.A. because I live in New York now, um, and my first call is always Mandy and Scott, and we always have dinner. And uh, I just did a movie with Matt Reeves, who created Felicity with J.J. We worked together all summer. So um, we have our own little private reunions. Okay. Well, maybe you let us fans in on mm. one day. We can hope. They, actually, there was supposed to be some photo shoot. I can't remember what that was, but they were supposed to do something. Okay. I don't know if it ever well, came to be. Well, a girl can hope. Yeah. Um, it was a good show. Austin Land could not be more different than some of your current projects with Dark Skies and the Americans. <laughs> right, right. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Was it kind of refreshing to throw yourself into a pseudo-period piece? Yeah. This was the first of all of those because I was pregnant at the time. This was a couple of years ago that we, we actually shot this. Um, and it was so fun. I mean, it was just sort of like this last minute, Jerusha called me and they got their financing together and said, come do this in, you know, in the countryside of England where you can bring your family, it'll be fun. Perhaps I don't find the conversation of women to be stimulating. Oh, I just can't imagine why you're still single. Don't say ring on your finger. No, bleep. No, 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 it's all right. I, I asked for it. I am single because apparently the only good men are fictional. <laughs> oh, do you think that there's any good women out there? Yeah, no, no, no. They, they profess honesty and fidelity, and then while you're away lecturing in Switzerland, they run off to Brazil with your mate. What do you think is the fascination with uh, with Mr. Darcy? I'm sorry, I know. I'm looking at. I love Mr. Darcy. Yeah. What is our fascination? I don't know. It's really he's really the archetype of that character. It's amazing. Um, I don't know. The only thing I can keep thinking about with Jane Austen and what she really pinpointed what that idea is of, of like a meeting of the minds, like regardless of who belongs with who and what you, who you're friends with and what you wear, and it's it's really that like courtship of someone, like what makes them tick, like what makes them interested and what excites them and what makes them laugh, and and I think women and and people in general like that. You know, they want to be known for who they are. Yeah. And I think she just did that really well, I guess. Jane, your character in the film, is sort of looking for a more simpler, more romantic time. Mm -hmm. Do you think that we've kind of lost our sense of romance in this day and age? Um, I think there's still romance. I think there's, you can find romance. It's like sort of one of those things where everyone's like, oh, I hate L.A. And you're like, no, there's great things about L.A. There's That's nature. True. There's, you know, I think there's romance. You just have to find it and look for it and know who to hang out with, I guess. I'd agree with that, and I would say the same thing for L.A. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Regency era. This is just a stop before we get to the big house. I am oh, Mrs. Okay. Wattlesbrook. Miss Charlie. I hope your travel was endurable. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Jane Hayes. Yes. And I've been, I've been thinking about my pseudonym, and I was thinking, um, Miss Joyful, maybe? Uh, uh, you've already yes. been assigned a name. Miss Erstwhile. Miss Erstwhile. Martin, oh. take the luggage in and get the carriage ready to take us up to the manor. Martin? What did you have like a because this is all about you know Jane Austen? Yeah. Did you have a favorite author as a kid or a favorite character in books that you kind of followed and fell in love with? I was super into Nancy Drew, the teenage detective. Love I, I loved her. I loved everything about her. I liked that she was adventurous and she would go on these trips all by herself and had this. Um, she liked her boyfriend, okay, but she was really more into her like detective solving crimes, and um, so I really loved her. Teenage Detective. There's sort of a Bridget Jones connection here, with which, by the way, I was feeling while I was watching. Right, right. And I know James plays Bridget's best friend in the film. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I forgot there about you, that. I couldn't do. I started doing research, and I was like, "Why am I feeling all of these parallels with Mr. Darcy, with James?" I with forgot everything. about that. Oh, first, come on. I haven't seen that in a long time. I need to rewatch that. You know, they're working on a sequel. Now. They, are? they are. How fun! If those movies were so fun. I think so too. Yeah. Were you a big Bridget Jones fan? Yeah, I loved those. So fun. I, you know, I, they were. And they're also like big, 
pretty glossy movie. You know, everyone's making such tiny, independent, grungy things, and I'm like, bring on the slickster. I love it. Bring it on. I want it. That's why when I go, I want to escape, and I want it to be pretty, you know? <laughs> My most serious question I must ask is about <laughs> the... Nelly scene at the end. Oh, my word. It's getting hot in here. Oh, my word. Talk to me. Kill me now. Tell me about Kill that. Kill me now. I heard you were a little uncomfortable. I was sweating. She's like, come on, Mickey Mouse Club girl. Like, this, this is the same stuff. Get out there. Um, you know, it was actually supposed to be a uh, Warren G, uh, you know, regulator, oh which I sort of secretly love way more. Of course. I mean, they're both great. But um, we couldn't afford it. Uh, but, you know, yeah, my favorite is um, Jerusha sitting down on the piano because she's a really great pianist, showing me the keys like of how to play. <laughs> it's getting hot in here on piano. It's just amazing.